So we're looking at the visual appearance of the tongue. What do we see? The anatomy. We're looking at the function. So how does the tongue move? What's the actual function? Can the tongue rest in the palate? Um, we're looking at symptoms. Um, in addition, you know, do they have pain? Do they have tension? Do they have, um, you know, digestive issues? We're looking at compensations, which is a very important, big key um, topic. Um, we've got uh, five compensations that we're defining in the literature, which are um, floor of mouth elevation, jaw protrusion, jaw lateralization, um, facial grimace, and neck engagement. So there's really five functional evaluations that we're doing for compensations. And we're really trying to define what they are. And our next area of research is to actually publish on the measurements for all of these, you know, compensations. Like they have to actually be objective and measurable. We can't just, um, you know, talk about them. Uh, we have to actually have a way of defining them and measuring them. So, and then uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four. And then the final one is, where's the final one, Megan? The measurements. Yeah. So for patients. Oh. Yeah, measurements. So measurements, and um, you can stop your screen share. Perfect. The measurements are only one of the five pillars. So we do want to take the measurements, like I showed in that last article. So the tongue range of motion is a measurement. The Kotlow free tongue measurement, that's a measurement. We need that, but we also have to understand that there's more to assessing for tongue tie than just measuring the tongue range of motion or the freedom itself or the free tongue. So what do you guys think about that? Makes sense. There's kind of, Dr. Zoggy says five dimensions. I say five pillars, mm -hmm. but um, there are really, there's so much more beyond looking at tongue tie, right? We have to look at the whole big picture, including the symptoms the patient has and their compensation.